Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an Xbox One error code 0x87E00064. Try that again, something went wrong. So this will hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we are going to start off by actually just power cycling both your Xbox console as well as your Windows computer. So turn both of them off and then on again. So I'll demonstrate this with the Windows computer. I'm just going to go ahead and actually restart my device here. And then hopefully once you power cycled both devices, your issue should have been resolved. If you're still having a problem, we can also open up the search menu, type in apps and features. Best result, should come back with apps and features. Go ahead and open that up. In the search apps field, go ahead and search for Xbox. Best match, should come back with Xbox. Go ahead and select the three dotted icon next to it and select advanced options. Scroll down and then underneath reset if the app isn't working right, we can try and repair it. The app's data won't be affected. Select the repair button. And then you would attempt to restart your computer. And then hopefully that should have resolved the problem. And then if you attempt to launch the Xbox application, you should be good to go. If you're still having a problem, you can try to actually reset the Xbox application on Windows back to default. So if you open up the search menu and then you type in apps and features again, go ahead and open that up once more. And now into this field, go ahead and search for Xbox again. And then again, select the three dot icon next to it and select advanced options. Scroll down underneath a reset, except this time we're going to select that the app still isn't working right. Reset it. The app's data will be deleted. Select the reset button. This will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign in details. Select the reset. And then once that's done, you have a little check mark indicating that. Go ahead and close out of here and restart the computer once again. And then hopefully if you attempt to launch the Xbox application, you should be good to go. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do a pleasure to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.